today. This video is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, y'all. First things first, I only have one YouTube page, one Instagram page. Don't get scammed. You can only book a personal reading with me using my website, which will be listed down below in the description box. And I'm sending y'all so much peace, love, and healing energy. Hope y'all are having a beautiful and blessed day. Hope y'all have a beautiful and blessed week. And may Father God continue to cover you, keep you safe, guide you all days, always. Let's begin. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides of the highest white light, please come down and protect me. Please come down and give me clear messages straight from the divine. Archangel Michael, Holy Spirit, please come down and protect me, guide me, and keep me safe. And please come down and protect and guide the viewers that have clicked on this video today. What are the messages today for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node? Okay, Cancer. So you're mending relationships at this time. You're mending connections. People could be wanting to come back into your energy. You are getting into alignment with different people. And I'm seeing it. There could be people that... Uh, try to catch up to you in different ways. Like you are here spiritually, you have learned certain experiences, you've gotten through certain lessons and it's like people are trying to play catch up with you, okay? And they feel like they can come back towards you. They feel like they've done enough work where now they can connect with you, where, where now they can be in your energy or in your aura or in your atmosphere. But you need to judge certain people, okay? It's something about you needing to really reflect over who you want to mend connections or have a reconciliation with who you need to like literally stay clear from who you need to like continue to move away from because it could be people that's only coming towards you for the betterment of them okay with, with mending being here be mindful of that be, be mindful of who wants to come into your energy at this time yeah be mindful of that yeah why you guys can even be questioning like why why somebody wants to come towards you at this time why something is happening at this time why is something even happening at all why something has to transpire you guys could definitely be in like a deep Herman mode, reflection mode, introspection, okay? Virgo energy is here as well, I'm seeing here. But it's, it's important for you to stay in that imaginative, that creative, that light, that airy energy. That not even really being carefree, but just knowing that your life is already divinely, like you're being divinely guided. It's already mapped out. It's already written by Father God. You can always go to Father God for direction, okay? For clarity, for answers, for the truth. Okay, because you're getting ready to hit the finish line. You're getting ready to reach a goal, a dream, an aspiration, something that you guys could have put your mind on and towards, and it's coming. Okay, it, it, it's coming. There's something that's getting ready to, to ooh, you're about to receive something. This could be like an award, okay, or a certificate, some type of achievement. This could even be public recognition. But there's something that you guys are doing and it's making you push all the way forward and you're almost at the finish line. So you're being led to not stop, keep going. Things are, are going to manifest or happen, are going to happen for you more rapidly than you thought they were. More rapidly than you thought they were going to change or more rapidly than you thought they were going to come in. Something is going to happen for you. It's getting ready to happen for you. The number 47 could be significant. Number 11, November, April, or July could be significant. Any of those months or dates? Yeah. Okay, y'all. Uh, all right. Okay. <laughs> they have been, like, really, like, I'm sitting right next to you, Mecca, like, all morning. Like, literally, you're in the Scorpio reading. I'm sitting right next to you, Mecca. Like, like... <laughs> I'm uh, you're hearing me clearly, Mecca. Like they they've been woo! I want you Father God, you don't gotta do me like that now. Nah. You don't gotta scare me like that. Okay? Like <laughs> Yeah, look at what I'm looking at. Y'all see 47, right? Look at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Look what was behind this card. What do y'all see? Four. Four. <laughs> Four. And behind that is a leg up coming straight from God. That's the number seven. 
oh my goodness this is a beautiful like y'all got beautiful energy around you y'all always have angels around you cancer like i absolutely love 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 doing your reading i love it i love it mm. this is you getting into your energy this is you getting into your aura Mm. This is also you feeling very sacred, you feeling very blessed. There's a cleansing of your energy. You guys could be taking spiritual baths at this time as well. You could be feeling a renewal in your energy. You guys could be feeling more light, more airy, more free. And it's because you have your angels that are lifting you all the way up. They're cleansing your energy for you. It's like they're restoring the right energy into you, your energy that you can continue to go the distance. And it's coming straight from up above. Straight from up above. I can't even speak. 444 is significant as well. You have divine spiritual protection and guidance around you. There's nothing but protection around you. You have a covering around you. Literally. It's like when you're happy, the divine is happy. I see two faces. When you're happy, the divine is happy. When you're happy, the divine is happy. When you when you feel in a place of like true fulfillment, the divine is happy. They're satisfied. They're like good, great. You're finally rem like rem remembering who you are, remembering what you're supposed to be doing, remembering the energy that you're supposed to be embodying, remembering who you are. This is a major blessing coming in. Also, protection coming in. You're getting ready to receive help. Okay, with the leg up, you have help coming in. You have help coming in. You guys could have been coming from God with the sun and the nine of cups. Oh, cancer. Like I am, I something may really like make you, it may take your speech. It may be so breathtaking. Something is going to come in and it's going to just, it's, it's, you're going to be in awe about it. You're gonna know God's hand is over it. God's gonna make sure that you like you, you make sure it is you know it's coming straight from him. Yeah, the three of pentacles is here. This is collaborations coming in. This is like people wanting to network with you, wanting to get into partnerships with you, wanting to get into connections with you. People are also talking about you. You could do something at work and you have higher ups looking at you, talking about you. You may do something. You could be in a career where people are like, they could be coming towards you for your services or people are just inquiring. They have questions. They have questions. You even have some people bearing gifts. <laughs> you even have people like coming towards you, bearing gifts, bearing like things that they feel like could help you. Yeah, the seven of pentacles is here. This is deep reflection. I'm seeing here seven is significant. That's God's number. No, I'm sorry. Six. No, this is seven. This is seven of pentacles. <laughs> the seven of pentacles. I'm sorry, y'all. This is an, uh, my um another deck. My other deck. Yeah, this is the seven of pentacles. You're reflecting. This is also you being really patient. There's things that you guys could have watered or you guys could have like wanted to mature. It's coming in. It's coming in divine timing though. Okay. Like literally with the with the seven of pentacles being here, you guys are watering certain things and you guys want something, certain things to happen, certain things to grow, certain things to manifest. That's getting ready to come in, especially with the ten of cups. You're about to be extremely happy. You're about to feel extremely rewarded in regards to something that you were patient on. Yeah, somebody here tried to sabotage this. 77 is definitely significant. It could have been an Aquarius. Somebody tried to sabotage you or set you up or they wanted this to like fall apart. This is a warning, also a confirmation. 77, that angel number could be significant to you. What's this seven of swords about? Somebody is very manipulative. Yeah, you knew this. Your intuition put you up on game about this individual. And told you to like protect your money, protect your home, protect like your assets, your achievements, things that you were working on. This is someone that could even drink a lot. They could be like a hidden like alcoholic. Someone here could like they like to hook up. They may like third parties with the moon and the they may like 
do, do, ooh, somebody gets nasty. They get freaky at night. It's like freak come out at night. And they like to like do it with different people. Somebody here likes to go out. They like to like, they like to go out. They may like to drink a lot or smoke, or this could be someone that likes to party. They like to be around people. But they don't tell you exactly what they do with the people that's around them. Somebody is nasty. You just hate nasty. Yeah. I don't know. Let me get out of this. <laughs> Let me get out of this. Yeah. With the Ace of Cups, somebody here wanted like you to view them as like the love of your life. The Two of Cups. But you have true love that's coming in. Yeah, it was a fight for this. Like, mm -mm. Mm -mm. they also wanted to make it very difficult for you to embrace love. They, they wanted you to like feel like you had to fight to get love. Wow. Somebody here wanted you to be in struggle, though. They, that is horrible. Somebody here wanted it to, like, this is disgusting. This is disgusting. Somebody here wanted it to be, like, it was your fault. Like, like the drama and the conflict is because it's hard to love you. Or it's because, or, oh, my gosh. They wanted it to be very difficult for you to, like, feel like you are lovable. Or feel like it will be easy to just to have pure love with you. Okay, somebody here wanted you to like, yeah, the Eight of Swords, they wanted you to fight. They wanted you to like feel like with love, it becomes a fight. No, that's struggle love. What the fuck is this? No. <laughs> like, no, Cancer. The Five of Cups to the Ace of Cups, they even could have put you in competition like before their love. For, like some, you're, Somebody here knows that you are very healing. Yeah, the King of Cups, you have to gain emotional like ground and this is your energy, Cancer. You, you realize that you are lovable. The King of Cups, you're very much lovable, balanced, peaceful, at a place of contentment. You're able to manifest, and it starts with you standing by yourself. With the Nine of Pentacles, you guys could have, like, told this person, kiss you, kiss you later, see you later, okay? Bye. Like, yeah, something about you guys being self-sufficient, successful by yourself. Your money could have even changed. Like, you guys could have, like, chosen to be independent, single, do things by yourself. Like, you, I'm here and I could do battle by myself. Somebody here literally, like, mm -mm. it was a lot of drama or discord with dealing with this individual or by getting them to, like, want to give to you. Six of Pentacles, it could have put you in a place of poverty. Hardships, you could have felt like loving this individual or, like, giving your time, attention to this individual was putting you at a place of, like, destitution. And it was literally with the five of... Mm. Five of Pentacles, it was the King of Swords. Somebody knew this too. Yeah, this true energy came out. He wanted to be in the the um the upright. It ended up falling out in the reverse. And I'm gonna take it in the reverse. That's his true energy. Somebody here also knows how to shape shift energy. I'm seeing here. If you are a woman, they view you in your masculine energy. They view you not being too naive or too like dim. Somebody here thought that you were like dim with it. They thought that you were just like needy for love codependent for love but the nine of pentacles is in the upright you are not you are someone who is very stable you love yourself okay and it's like this individual it's like the king of swords somebody is emotionally closed off they they lack empathy they do not listen to their intuition this person lies they cheat they are a cheater they like to step on people's necks step on people's backs to get ahead this is a this is a very dark, deceptive energy. Like the King of Swords is someone that's not mentally balanced at all. This is this is someone that makes up things in their head and they go with it and they say it's the truth. And it could be a complete lie, fabrication. Somebody is mentally, mm -mm. yeah, you are being protected all along, especially your pathway, your divine blessings, things that matter, things that are, are meant to bring in fulfillment towards you. With the wheel of fortune and the temperance, you were always protected and guided. And somebody knew this. They, it's like they felt like every time they tried to throw something at you or every time they tried to get into your energy to reconcile, you were being protected by Archangel Michael. Your angels do not play about you. You put in too much work with temperance and will of fortune. It's like you are meant to receive these divine blessings at this time. This is also Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo energy is here. Pisces is here. It's meant for you to receive um, these blessings. Gemini, Libra is also here. And somebody here, it's like it's, they can't wrap their mind around it. Yeah, how you were able to move forward. And once you move forward, you're about to meet somebody like, that's not going to play about you, Cancer. There you go, Cancer. It's like this could, I could be talking to a male Cancer that is literally, you're, you're about your bag. You're about your stability, your security. You're no longer making like 
frivolous or careless decisions or I could be talking to a woman that is in her masculine energy, a boss, a CEO, okay? You are independent contractor, you go, you're a go-getter, okay? You are someone that has standards, morals, values, you know your self-worth, you're not one to like, you're not a pushover, okay? You know how to take care of house and home and you also know how to build people up, you know how to like uplift, okay? It's like, I'm, oh, I'm... T- I could also be speaking to somebody here that once you move forward with this chariot, you're going to meet a real man or a real woman. It's coming. With the emperor, it's coming. This is about you moving forward. This is also about you balancing out your masculine and your feminine. You could be a feminine and you, you, ooh, you have to step into that masculine energy to protect yourself, to take charge within your life, okay? And that's what's pushing you and catapulting you forward. Okay, your sense of direction, your mindset, your swift demeanor. Yeah, there's a relationship that's coming in and it's wish fulfillment. For someone here, you guys are getting ready to meet your partner. I'm talking to someone that's getting ready to meet, like a woman here that's getting ready to meet like a man, a provider. You guys could have even had to be a provider in the relationship or in the connection. That's getting ready to change. You're about to meet a provider. The two of cups and the nine of cups. Gosh. Oof. Yeah, there was a lot of stagnation to this, and it was because of uh, some type of breakup needed to happen. Some, yeah, you needed to trust where you were being guided towards, okay, the father sword. Somebody was determined to stagnate you while your angels and ancestors were determined to push you forward away from this juggling. What's the final messages? Yeah, continue to take action towards this leap of faith. Continue to go towards it, Cancer. I'm sorry, to continue to take action towards this leap of faith. It's going to be nothing but blessings and happiness. Outside of this, on the resolve of this, it may not appear this way at this time. You guys could be, really be trying to like outsmart, but you are already protected. You're trying to outsmart someone or you're trying to protect your energy. You don't want somebody to, to know exactly what your, what your next moves are. They're not. They're not. With the, with the full card, they're not. Someone here feels like whatever move you're about to make is reckless, and it's not. It's literally, a, it's you trusting in God. I hope this resonated with you. May peace and blessings be to you always, and I'll be seeing you on the next one, Cancer.